Hello there, folks, and welcome back. Today, we're going over something that's extremely revolutionary, could change life as we know it, and the future of the world as we know it, and that's the Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. Now, this comes in two different storage capacities. I have the smaller storage capacity. I've been testing it out for about a week straight. I've used a whole bunch of apps so I can give you an accurate and detailed review. Now, the Oculus itself, you know, it's probably about seven inches wide, maybe three to four inches tall, and it has a polymer outer body. It has cameras on the outside of it. So there's a camera on the two cameras on the lower and two cameras on the corners of the upper right. Here's a camera. Here's a camera. Here's a camera. And here's a camera. Um, on this side, it has a audio port and it has a USB-C jack to, in, to either transfer files um, or to charge the device utilizing the internal lithium ion battery. It has an elastic strap that's pretty comfortable and some plastic adjusting pieces right here. Um, it has an elastic strap on the top that is Velcro, so you can adjust that for different size heads. Now, this can adjust to pretty much anybody's size head except for a very small child, which I don't recommend use this anyways. Follow the safety protocols, precautions, and guidelines. On the bottom here, you have a little tiny pinhole, and that is the microphone. And there's two. There's one here and here. And then you have an, a volume adjustment button with a plus or minus signal on it. Now inside here, if you can look right here, we have an adjustable eye width. Um, you can adjust this for very narrow by pushing it in, adjust it, and it has three different positions that it locks into. So depending on how wide apart your eyes are or how close together, it's very important that you get it right. If you're really, really careful and you push just enough, you can very carefully get it to click, stay just between those eye notches, but it's extremely difficult to get it done. So you get just that perfect width. Um, and it just so happens my eyes are like in between the two predetermined, the three settings. So I have to just fiddle with it to just get it just right. I do wish that they made it to where you could easily get it between those um, without any struggle um, and or have smaller, finer adjustments to it. Um, when you wear it, it's extremely clear, but it's not like high definition, super high definition clear, I should say that. To adjust the tightness on the headband, you adjust this out to tighten it or slide these two plastic posts in to make it larger. Now, one thing to note is that this sideband articulates and this stays, it's very stiff and it stays where you put it. What people oftentimes do and what I did when I was first using it is I would um, tighten it, over tighten it, and then I would end up with a headache and marks on my face. Whereas you can have it looser and then just adjust this so that it kind of can'ts in just the right position without having it so tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Well, first I show you these controllers. So it comes with two controllers, one for the right hand and one for the left hand. Um, each controller fits very nicely in the hand. It's very ergonomic. And they do have this adjustable lanyard, which I do recommend you use. It has a middle fin uh, finger button right here, an index finger right here. And this is pretty much what you use as a trigger in games to shoot something. And uh, you use this as basically your, your, your primary mouse button, you could say, or your enter button. Then you have your A, B buttons, a, a thumb joystick right here. Let me see if I can show you that better. And you can push down on that to run. And then you have your Oculus button or menu button right here. And that's what you use to enter and exit your primary menu. When you put it on, you put it on just like this. All right. You can adjust this, like I said, to cant this in just the right position. It's pretty comfortable. It has a little bit of weight to it. Um, and I have found that I can get motion sickness using it with certain games or applications. And I am not a person who gets motion sickness ever. So it's like really weird for me because I can get nausea, headaches, um, or migraines from it. I have noticed that's been my experience. I'm not saying that's everybody follow the safety protocols, precautions, and guidelines. Um, but you might find that you can get motion sick in this. It has very nice, soft foam around the edge. It's very comfortable on your face. It might make your neck a little sore if you use it for a long time because there is some weight to it. Um, there is a plastic piece and another padded piece that you can use that adjust this 
uh, for further eye relief so you can fit glasses on inside of this. Um, but I don't have glasses, so I don't use that. But there is an adapter that comes with it. If you wear eyeglasses, you don't have to worry about that. It comes with what you need.